this considered gossip? Comment down below and let me know if it's considered gossip. But nonetheless, maybe because I'm a flat, yeah, I have a flat butt, so maybe that's why I'm jealous. No, actually, I'm not jealous. Maybe that's why I'm hating. I'm not hating. I don't think so. <laughs> let me know down in the comments what this is considered gossip or hater or hey guys so today's the start of my day tomorrow i go to work and i do a turn so for starter we are going to be getting my hair done quickly we're going to the dominican salon and she's going to fly down my hair and put some clippings in there to give me a little bit of a volume and then i am probably going to go shop for a dress because my cousin's wedding is tomorrow and i got a shoes from clark's these are the shoes that i got from clark's and they're not the prettiest thing ever, but they're not the ugliest. So, Clarks are known for comfortable, yet ugly shoes. <laughs> but these are not as ugly as some of the ones that I've seen, but they are comfortable. So, I don't know, it's a little tight, but it's not too, too tight. So, I'm just wearing them to break them in before I have to go to work tomorrow. So, nothing fancy today, no makeup. Um, <laughs> I probably look like it, but I am excited to get my hair done and I can't wait to talk to you guys later All right guys, so here's the deal. I just went into the salon and I wish I would have brought my makeup to actually get my makeup done while I'm sitting here because My current stylist isn't in the salon Even though we had an appointment yesterday for 1120 and I came at 11 30 ish she's not there but she said she gave her about 30 minutes and she'll be here no biggie i'm just in my car waiting i'm probably going to go to the store and then come back because she says she'll call me when she gets back but here's the deal she was not supposed to be my stylist so my stylist is actually in there the first lady who started doing my hair when i caught my hair that's when i started treating this i started looking for a stylist to do my hair and this is like are predominantly I would say more it's mixed but it's more white people here than there are black people so there's not a lot of black salons so the closest thing I had was a Dominican salon so I came over here and I asked the lady I was like do you do black people hair she was like yeah you know and my hair was so short and she helped me out burn the shit out of my hair but she did a decent job and for I think three other times she did my hair, which is really nice. I appreciated her for that. But then, here's the crazy part. The last time I got my hair done, I came to the salon, but my stylist who had done my hair three times prior was busy. So this, <coughs> so this, <coughs> it was drama. But this other lady was less busy. So she said, do you want me to do your hair? And I was like, mm, I don't know. I, kind of, I want to wait for this lady. And, and then my lady was like, well, I'm busy. So if you want somebody else to do your hair, let the person go ahead and do your hair because this hair is going to take me a while to be done. So I was like, okay, whatever. She probably doesn't want me to wait. And so I went with the other lady. I said, okay, you can do my hair. I mean, I was refusing at first, but my lady said that I should go ahead and get my hair done. I think she probably didn't want to do it out there. So <laughs> I got my hair done by my current stylist now. When I got my hair done, my hair looked so much better. She didn't burn the shit out of my hair. And it was just beautiful. And she gave me a bang. She told me, hey, you know, you can add some, some extensions to it, put some clip-ins. And I was like, clip-ins never stay in my hair. They always come off. I don't like to use clip-ins. And she said, go to the store next door, get you some clip-ins and come back. I'll put it in for you. So I went, I got the hair and I put it and she put the clip-ins for me. I'll show you guys um, a video of the hair that she did for me. It's really lovely. I'll insert it in here. And when she did my hair, I was like, damn, this is so much better than, you know? I, I mean, obviously I didn't say it in front of them, but when I got home, I told my boyfriend, I was like, my hair looks a lot better than it did before when the other lady did it. So now Come on. I think that lady got a bad BBL. But who am I to judge? There's one lady who just walked by. It looks like she had a bad, bad, bad BBL job. Oh, she's going in the same salon I go into. Okay, never mind. That's none of my business. I should not be gossiping. Is this considered gossip? Comment down below and let me know if it's considered gossip. But, nonetheless, maybe because I'm a flat, yeah, I have a flat butt, so maybe that's why I'm jealous. No, actually, I'm not jealous. Maybe that's why I'm hating. I'm not hating. I don't think so. Let me know down in the comments what this is considered. Gossip or hater or a jealous 
bitch. <laughs> I don't think how many of those. I just it just caught my eye and I had to say something. But do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy in this world. Today I go in there and my stylist is in there. She said to give her 30 minutes and she'll she'll come over. But the lady who used to do my hair is sitting there and I'm just like, uh, I'm here to see the other lady. So I, I don't know, I feel guilty. Would you feel guilty if you were used to doing your hair with one stylist? I mean, three times, not like you've been with this stylist for years. Like she did my hair three times, but she was a nice lady. And then you show up and she was busy had a tiny bit of an attitude, but not anything dramatic. Just like she was busy and she said, you know, don't wait for me, go to somebody else. And you go to somebody else, but you end up liking the somebody else better. So now you show up and the somebody else is away and say, wait for me like 30 minutes. But your previous stylist is less busy and sitting there. What would you do? I <laughs> I don't know. I feel bad, but I mean, so it's live. So I'm waiting for the silence. Let me know what you think. Hey guys, so this is the finished look of the hair and it's looking nice. All right, so I sat there and we started chit-chatting when the lady showed up. And it wasn't expensive, so um, my little nap nap is gone. And I cannot wait to talk to you guys when I get ready for work tomorrow. I have a liner in, so sorry, I'm gonna sound a little choked up. Uh, but my report time is 5 a.m., so that means I leave my house at like 3.30. Um, so yeah. I probably won't be able to film, but if I can, I will. If I cannot, then I'll talk to you guys when I get to the airport or in between flights. All right, um, I brought you with me today. I also went shopping for my um, dress to the wedding. I'll show you guys the dress. I got two dresses. One had a little hole in it, but I really, really love the dress. So I decided to buy the dress anyway. Now I'm trying to find a place to alter it. I'm gonna call my boyfriend's mom and I want her to alter it. <laughs> I have my sewing machine, but she's just better than me. So I will let you guys know how that goes. Alrighty, talk to you later. Hey guys, so I have done two flights today and I am tired. Uh, <laughs> my crew member is looking over here, but I told you guys I was gonna bring you on the trip today and this is um, very, very tiring and I am exhausted. However, we still have to go to Trenton and then back here. So let's pray for good weather. Let's come back and let's make it fun. I am supposed to do my friend's hair today, but I am <laughs> so sleepy. Hopefully I'm able to still do it. And if not, I can do it tomorrow before she leaves. All right, talk to you guys later. welcome hi guys so I am finally done with my turn we did four different legs today I'm exhausted I went to bed at like 11 and woke up at 3 so that's how much sleep I got and I don't understand I did a bang when you see my hair in the video you'll see that it was a bang and it completely turned into something that it's not. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah, so it's completely turned into a hair of its own. And I'm currently going to find my car. I finally got my dress to look a lot nicer than it actually is. So, but it's quite windy today. And I can't wait to get to my car and drive home safely. I doubt it's going to be traffic free. So I'm looking forward to it. I might be screaming. So if I see somebody, my expression might change because it's so windy and I want you guys to hear me. See what I mean about my hair? See what it's doing? It's not what it's supposed to be doing. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. 
don't know what the kids say these days. It's definitely not giving what it's supposed to give, guys. 